Hey, welcome back to Bridal Sewing Techniques, and today we're going to do a DIY Styles mask review. Which one out there is best for you? You've got a lot of choices right now. Also, at the end of this video, I've got some giveaway details. Are you someone who has experience with a mix of sewing, but is looking to get into the bridal sewing niche? This channel is for you. Hit subscribe to become a part of the community. There are so many DIY types of masks out there right now, and they all have their pros and cons, so I figured I would sew up three of them, and we could go over the pros and cons together. Let's name them. I'm going to call the one that is shaped kind of like what you see the N95 mask shaped like. I'm going to call that the turtle shell. I'm going to call the one that swoops across your face the contour, and then finally, I'm going to call the pleated style mask <clears throat> pleated. Isn't that genius? Oh my goodness. Hit that like button, guys. Come on. <laughs> the way I'm going to do this is I'm going to be actually sewing these masks on the screen in four times speed. Um, so you can see the process if you're interested. Just gives you a little something to watch while I'm talking. And I'm going to be speaking about the pros and cons about the mask that I am sewing. Um, at rapid speed. So I'm going to start with the turtle shell. Now this one, you can see that white that I was working with, that's the filthy filter. Um, this is to be, this is designed to be sewn with a filter inside and that's horsehair braid that I'm sewing in there now. So it has a lot of body to it. Um, it, it can really hold its own. It stays away from your mouth, that kind of thing. Um, but let's just talk about the pros and cons. The cons of this turtle shell shaped mask is there's a lot of parts to it as far as sewing goes. So it does require a slightly higher sewing level. Although if you're super patient and you're just moderate sewing level, I think you would do just fine. Um, another con is that the filter is deeply sewn in. It's really part of the construction of the mask. So there's a limited number of times you can use it. That's going to depend on the way you use it, the way you wash it. Um, of course, things can change. As of right now, and I'm not vouching 100% for this, but I'm thinking Filthy is saying you can just gently hand wash up to eight times without compromising the filter. Um, the other thing, I don't know if you guys have ever worn N95 masks, which according to um, test results, I have had this actually fit tested in a hospital and it did pass. Um, and like I said, it has that filthy filter in there. So um, it does do some really hefty, hefty filtration. But I don't know if you guys have ever worn an N95 mask before, but they're really hard to breathe in. They're, they're pretty miserable to wear. They're pretty hot. And these, because they filter so well, they're also quite stifling. So um, it's definitely something that's going to be very utilitarian. The pros. Okay, so like I said before, it did pass a hospital fit test. So um, of the three that I tried, this one did seem to filter the best. It was the least leaky. Um, now you'll see with all three of these designs, I personally like to make the elastic go all the way around the back of the head. I do not like the ear elastic. I think it's uncomfortable and it can also be kind of leaky. So um, the turtle shell has the most effective filtration of all these masks. Um, and it also stays out of your mouth because of the way it arches away from your face. Now, let's talk about the contour. As you can see in the picture, that one also vaults away from your face. Um, so the cons of the contour, though. It's a moderate sewing level. So again, this is not someone who is afraid of their sewing machine. They're not going to want to do this. Look at the cute little tuck, though, in the front, guys. I love that tuck. Not all the patterns call for that, by the way. I like to put that in my contour masks because they tend to have, like, a little break in the front um, anyways, just naturally because of the shape. And that tuck just encourages it to break in a really pretty creative way. So, anyways. Oh, let me mention this. You can see I'm using terry cloth instead of fleece. Um, we are having sourcing issues all over the place, right? And so when a pattern calls for fleece, I did want to mention some other things that you can use um, besides that. So I cut up a terry cloth towel and it works great for the nose piece. 
back to the cons. Um, the filthy has to be cut uh, pretty specific. If you're going to design this to have um, some slits in the lining for you to slip a filter in, it would be a little fussy to add that. Um, again, I'm adding horsehair braid to this design. That is actually um, not necessary for this design. It's just something I like. This still has quite a few parts compared to the turtle shell. Um, that has the most parts. This kind of middle of the road. The pleated mask has the least number of parts to sew together. So this is like the moderate sewing that I was talking about. It's also going to be a little more time consuming to cut out your pieces. Now, the pros on this mask. Pardon me, but I do think this is the prettiest of the three. And I also think it's really cool. You know, you can mix and match fabrics. You know, I did this like kind of pool blue on both sides, but imagine if one side was a different fabric from the other. Um, also, the lining could be a different fabric from the outer. It's just a lot of fun. Um, this is not a super leaky mask because of the nose piece in there and the way that it contours. It's not nearly as leaky as, say, the pleated mask. And in keeping with comparing this to the pleated mask, this does have that soft binding along the edge. I use a knit fabric for that, and that's just super, super comfortable. Um, uh, like I mentioned before, the way this vaults away from your face, particularly if you add the horsehair braid to it, it doesn't get in your mouth, so you don't suck it into your mouth and gag and all that. <laughs> Um, so it's also a lot easier to breathe through when I compare it to the turtle shell one. Um, obviously the filtration level is not as high, but as you know, um, the filtration level being high is not really the goal that we're going for um, with the masks right now. It's really just to reduce the viral load should you call for sneeze and unknowingly be an asymptomatic carrier. The final pro with this is if you don't have the filter layer or you make it removable, you can wash and dry this time and again. It's going to hold up just as long as the 100% cotton holds up. And our final contestant is, yay, the pleated face mask. Now with this, I am making it uh, where you can insert a filter and it does still have the nose piece. I feel like that really if if you have the sewing skill for that just go for it and put a nose piece in it just makes it so much better of a mask also um, the filter pocket does too as well so let's talk about the pros and cons cons of the pleated mask number one they can be quite leaky just by design Woo, sorry about that. <laughs> Got some steam in your face. <laughs> Anyways, um, yeah, they're a little leaky by design, as you can tell. I do make mine with elastic ties that tie around the head to help with this as much as possible. Can you guess why this is called fold over elastic? I like the fold over elastic. I think it's prettier for this design. Um, I don't really think this is that pretty of a design, although you can use some pretty cool fabrics. So that would be considered a con. Another con is that it can be a little hot to wear just because it's a lot of fabric that's on your face. There's a lot of facial coverage, not just the mouth and the nose. Now, for the pros, as you can tell, it's very easy to sew. This is by far the fastest mask that, that we can make. Um, the filter is easily swapped out. That is a very good pro. Let's talk about the filter that I use in my masks. I do use filthy filters. I know I did a video before of the blue and now they're using white. Yes, the color is going to change based upon their supply at any given time, but I did want to show you the thickness difference. There's very little difference in the thickness. It has slightly less body and it's a little more transparent. That's actually a good thing when it comes to the comfort of wearing these in the heat of summer though. But you can see how you can just tuck it right into that pocket you don't have to use filthy filters um, you can just you can buy from them directly They're they do not sponsor this video it's just what I use um, but you don't have to use that brand if there's another filter that you like go for it the other pro that I think really deserves a high mentions here is the fact that this mask can fit just about anyone. When you make it with ties where you can, instead of it having a loop that is an elastic loop around the back of the neck, they can tie it. It's adjustable fit for anyone. Also, if you're out of elastic, don't panic, okay? This is just a strip I cut maybe two inches wide, I don't know, probably a little less than that, and surged them together on the sides. 
if you just sew the midpoint of that down the side of the mask, that's another way that you can make the cotton ties that are adjustable for any size. Definitely give them a bonus point for that. All right, so here are the three masks that we looked at. I personally have sewn and currently own at least one of each of these designs. Which one is my favorite? Which one am I grabbing for most often when I need to wear a mask? Drum roll, please. The contour. That's right. I find myself wearing this one more than the others. Now, if I feel like I'm in a higher risk situation, I am certainly donning the turtle shell, um, but I feel like I can't use it as often because I'm a little nervous about washing it a little more. And like I said, it's very uncomfortable to breathe in a higher filtration mask. If I'm making masks to donate, say for a waiting room and I need a mix of sizes, I'm definitely reaching for the pleated mask. Now it's time for the giveaway, yay! All right, I'm going to give you five kits with all the fabric cut out that you need to make the turtle shell higher filtering mask. This is the most valuable of the three mask styles. I'm also going to give you all three of the masks that I demoed this video with. And haha, don't you dare attack me in the comments. I've already thought ahead. I am going to heat sanitize these before I drop them in the mail, okay? Here are the steps to entering into this giveaway. Anybody can enter, okay guys? It ends uh, the 30th of April at midnight Eastern Standard Time, all right? There's gonna be more information in the video description down below. But number one, share this video with a friend. Number two, have them leave a comment below this video saying, I nominate at, and then your YouTube subscriber name. Only one name per comment, please. So that means that they can nominate several friends in there, but they need to be separate comments because number three, I will randomly scroll with my eyes closed and stop my finger on a comment to see who wins. I'll record this so you know that I didn't cheat. And number four, I will reply to that comment to tell them that their nomination won and for him or her to have their nominated friend to email me with shipping info. I think I messed up that grammar, but we'll be okay. You get the point. Okay, reminder, check your notifications. Have your friend check their notifications because you really want to know if you won, right? And I'll also announce who the winner is on the community tab here on my YouTube channel. Of course, I won't give away any personal information on you guys. You know I'm a little funny about that, right? Thank you for watching, guys. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments section down below. I'm here for you. Be well. I know what you're looking for. You've been sewing for years, but you want to get into full-time bridal sewing. But there's something missing. You're missing the backroom secrets, the industry tips and tricks. The tools, the sources, the techniques that give you the speed, and the accuracy that the industry demands. You have found it.